Hey, what is up, guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys with a brand new break today. Finally, the long-awaited, much-anticipated, at least on my end, uh, break of my take on Create Your Own Boombox, the first multi-sport boombox break. That's right, guys. You, you guys know, uh, if you've watched my videos, I create my own boombox a lot of times, not from the actual boombox website. I just kind of create my own uh, by ordering packs from a site called Imagineer.com. Great White North Hockey Cards gave me the uh, awesome idea for this. Been doing it for a few months now. I've had some really good results, uh, really good stuff. I just buy some really cool packs off of this website at a pretty good price normally. Then I kind of piece them together and then just kind of like, you know, break my own boombox more, more or less. Uh, and really, guys, it's just kind of a novelty thing. These are not for sale or anything like that. Anybody out there is more than welcome to do this. I just do it for fun for the channel. But today is going to be my first multi-sport, that's right, multi-sport, four sports. Uh, the big four are all going to be represented today, guys. We're going to do something from football, baseball, basketball, and hockey. I got all high-end packs in here, guys. Um, I will put the exact price point on what I paid um, in the description below for you guys. But it was, uh, I want to say, close to $600 US uh, for this boom box today that we're going to break. Uh, this boom box is going to be in two different boxes. No particular order to it and stuff there. You guys can see this is what I have them in. We'll pull these packs out in one sec. Let's fill the background cards in very, very quickly. Uh, today, I'm going to give mostly some football love because I don't break a ton of football on here. As you guys know, this is mostly uh, baseball and hockey on this channel. Uh, but I do quite a bit of basketball, it seems, lately. And I'm probably going to continue with that a little bit, too. Um, but football seems to be the least of the uh, broken, if you will, um, kind of sport on this channel. Not to say I won't do some in the future and stuff like that, but uh, it's probably the most seldom on here if I had to pick one. So I want to give a little bit of football love today with the background cards. So here we go, guys. No particular order. Uh, we're going to fill in mostly, like I said, football. We're going to start with my 2017 PSA 10 Don Russell Optic Patrick Mahomes II uh, Lime uh, Refractor. That's right. Lime Rookie Card Refractor there. Again, PSA 10. Love that card. Love this player, obviously, guys. You guys know anybody that watches football. This guy, he's the real deal uh, for sure. We'll put him right up here, I think, on the left. I'm trying to keep that glare down for you guys as much as I can. I know it's a little bit tricky with these shiny cards. Uh, let's go right side next. Why don't we fill that in with some 2000 Upper Deck graded Tom Brady rookie card there. This is going to be a PSA 9. You guys can see the serial numbering on that. This is number... 54, there you go, out of 1325, but that is a Tom Brady graded 9 rookie card. I like that a lot, obviously, anybody that knows anything about football knows what that guy's done. Like him or not, uh, he is one of the greats, uh, so we will throw him right up there on the right. One of the center cards, I'm actually going to put up two cards. I was debating about not putting up the other one, but uh, I will, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But uh, my PSA 6, 1957, tops. Johnny Unitas rookie card is going to go up here in the background there. Got to love that old school. I love Johnny Unitas. There you go, the back of that card for anybody that's interested. And again, that is a PSA 6. Very, very cool card. Love that card. Throw that bad boy right up there. And then this one I know is going to throw you guys because this is completely left field, if you will. Um, but I'm going to throw up a hockey card. Uh, and the reason why, and I'll show you guys here. 1516 champs. I pulled this out of the only hobby box I actually opened of this. Pulled a nice Theo Fleury Legends uh, kind of rookie, or I'm sorry, not rookie, but auto. Uh, and that's a nice on card autograph there. One of the hardest ones to pull out of the entire set um, based on the odds and stuff like that. And the, the price point on this card is actually several hundred dollars. So it was actually a really, really good pull. Um, I believe I pulled that on this channel as well, guys. Uh, you can probably check that video if you looked for it. But the reason I throw that champs up in the background, guys, uh, I do know, I will spoil this, one of the packs in these boxes is a 15-16 champs hobby pack. So that's kind of the reason for that. I was looking for football cards, and I came across that in my pile, and I said, you know what, let's throw it up there. But anyway, guys, let's show you the great packs. Enough of the BS and kind of dragging this out. Box number one we're going to open. I'm going to show you guys all the packs, and we'll get into breaking. I'm going to pull this whole stack out here. You guys can see Maybe that box aside let's show you what we got in this box really quickly and we'll bust open that second box but uh, again all high end pack guys uh definitely high end packs today so 1516 spx you guys hockey fans know the guy right there on the cover connor mack it's his rookie year that's a very expensive pack 
We're going to take another shot at another Connor Mack. We got 15 16 ice. Again, another hobby pack there. There's that champs pack I was telling you guys about. We got a hobby pack of 15 16 champs. And then you guys that follow me on here know I love my SPA, so I had to throw in some SPA. 17 18 SPA. Uh, 1819 SPA and the final hockey product in uh, this boom box today 1920 SPA those are awesome those are the hockey packs for some football love we got a nice brand new uh, pack of 2020 luminance that's right luminance right there from Panini that's a pretty expensive uh, pack basketball fans you guys know these these are some expensive packs right here uh, even though it's retail we got two packs of 1920 Panini Prism. We're looking for the big man right there on the cover, Zion, or I'll take a jaw any day. But uh, those are very expensive packs. Anymore, these are selling for, holy heck, $40 to $80, depending on where you look on eBay and stuff like that. Uh, but we got two of those. And we also picked up a 1920 uh, certified pack, so we're looking for the same guys in that one as well. Another high-end pack there. Let's bust open this second box. Should we go what we got in this as far as packs? This one's going to be, I think, maybe all baseball. Right off the bat, guys, these are thicker packs. We got a nice 2020 Bowman Sterling. Let's see that in the background. We got a 2020 Series 2 a Fat Pack. Again, this is Hobby. And we got a 2020 Fat Pack. Also Hobby, of course, for Bowman. And our final pack is going to be a 2020 uh, Topps Chrome Hobby Fat Pack. So some incredible packs, guys. You can... Anybody that knows anything about any of these sports knows that these are very high-end packs. Uh, this this is quite pricey uh, of a break and stuff like that, but uh, I've been looking forward to this for a while. I know a lot of my fans, the guys who have been watching the channel, have been asking for this, and I'm glad to deliver finally. Hopefully we'll get some sick pulls. That's the goal of the day for sure. Um, with no further ado, let's see, where are we going to start? Why don't we start with football? Since I'm trying to give football a little bit of love today, I'm going to start with the one and only football pack we have. The 2020 Illuminance, and it's not to say that I wasn't going to get any other football packs, but quite honestly, on Imagineer.com, the website I use, uh, there was not a ton of selection at this time as far as uh, football packs, and the same with base or, uh, basketball as well. So I tried to get the best of the best of what I could get uh, for you guys. I didn't want to get like a whole bunch of score packs or little cheap things like that, so I kind of wanted to keep this really high end. Um, and there we go, guys. We got some thickness. You guys can see that. We got a very thick card. That's awesome. I think this is 12 cards. Is this 12 cards uh, per pack or was this 10? 10 cards per pack. All right, let's see what the heck we got, guys. I'm not going to drag this out, like I said. Try and get to this. I'll show you these as best I can. Uh, there we go. Carry on Johnson. AJ Brown. Uh, these are tough to read. Melvin Gordon the third, Calvin Ridley, and if I miss anything, oh, here we go. We got a numbered card, guys. Let's see who we got here. And then that big thick card is right behind us, actually. So our numbered, it's a nice numbered rookie, by the way, guys. It is a rookie for the Ravens there, James uh, Proche, and that is out of 250, 107 of 250. Uh, please let me know in the comments, guys. I'm actually going to save that thick card for the last card here. Try and bring these others up to the front if I can. Um, please, guys, let me know in the comments as far as uh, if there's something uber expensive in this. Because I, I will be the first to tell you guys I do not know uh, everything there is to know about football cards for sure. As well as the basketball part. Um, I know a little bit, but uh, not a ton. So please let me know in the comments. That is an awesome one for the PC. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, I'm a Pittsburgh man. So uh, Terry Bradshaw, that is some sick stuff. Uh, I guess this subset is called Flash, but that is awesome. I love that. That is a really cool card. Will stay with me for sure. Uh, let's flip these around again. We got another rookie here, not numbered, but uh, Jalen Rieger. There you go. Behind that, we got Nathan Rourke, a rookie. Bunch of rookies, guys. Uh, Anthony Gordon. And we got a numbered rookie again. This one is out of 250. James Proche again. There you go. So it's James Proche, uh, a.k.a. Baltimore Ravens. Heavy box so far. And it looks like we got one card left. It's going to be kind of the big hit. I can feel a jersey in it. And I actually believe, I'm going to try and turn this sideways. I'm not totally spoil this. Uh, well, let me see here what we can do. You know what? I'm going to use a... Uh, one of these BCW kind of card measuring things here to unveil this because I can kind of see the way the card goes. I don't know if it's autographed or not. I do know there's a jersey. 
All right, there we go. I believe it's like this, guys, and let's see what we got. Hopefully something big. And we got, I can't even tell what team is that. Is it the Raiders? Looks like Raiders. Let's go down, down, down. And it's just Jersey, guys, but it's a Josh uh, Jacobs. Oh, I'm sorry, Las Vegas Raiders. There you go. That's what was throwing me. It's the Las Vegas Raiders. So there you go, guys. Pretty cool. I'm not sure the name of the subset. It looks like it just says, like, Bright. Not positive on that but there you go guys no numbering or anything on that one uh, we did get two numbered cards out of this pack pretty cool card though nonetheless i hope you football fans enjoyed uh those cards at least and stuff and again football fans please let me know if i pulled anything insane out of that i mean i'll try and look into it the best i can myself but any uh input would be appreciated all right guys let's do basketball next i'm going to save the prison packs uh for the last part here we're going to start with the select pack or i'm sorry the certified pack so we get, I think we only get like four or five cards. Yeah, five cards. You guys know the big rookies? Again, Zion and Ja is exactly who I'm looking for. Um, should have probably thrown up a Zion, one of my Zion rookies here in the background uh, for a little bit of luck. But that's okay, guys. Hopefully we have the luck of the uh, basketball gods. All right, guys, here we go. We got Tobias uh, Harris. Let's start us off. And behind him, we got a upside down. There we go. Thomas Bryant. And behind that, we got uh, a rookie. Oh, boy. And it's a red. Ah, Dar Darius Basley, guys. That had me for a second. Oh, man, did that have me for a second. I got really a little bit of uber excited. I don't know if that's even numbered. I guess it's just a red parallel. I thought it might actually be numbered. It's not, but still, that would have been really sick if that was a uh, Jaw or a Zion. Still a pretty cool pull. Then we got some gold team here. Oh, there you go. The G-Man. That's actually a pretty good card. Your league MVP right there. The G-Man on the uh, gold team. And we finish. There we go. Hachimura. It's going to end it right there for another rookie card there. And I don't think that's numbered or anything like that. And I'll actually make sure that gold team, you guys can see the back of that. It's not numbered. Pretty cool, though. Here's the uh, the center stage kind of main attraction for basketball, though, especially for me, guys. I have yet to pull uh, a Zion out of Prism, and I am trying my best, but it's getting very pricey. Uh, so I don't know how many more uh, packs or how much Prism I'm going to open. But uh, here we go, guys. Kyrie Irving's going to start us off. Terry Rozier. And behind that, we got Jamal Murray. And our final card, you guys probably saw at the beginning, was Damian Lillard. So, unfortunately, nothing gigantic in that one. we got one more chance here. Same pack. Again, guys, four cards. Please, please, please give me a little bit of luck. I'll try and actually keep this one sort of for the unveil if I can. Not rolling that last card for a change. All right, guys. Kevin Garnett's going to start us off. We do have a uh, some type of like prism. Yeah, we definitely have a prism coming up. A nice one, uh, I hope. Behind that, oh, we got an, an autograph. Yes, we did, guys. Nice. Look at that throwback. Bob McAdoo. Wow. Look at this, guys. Penmanship. That's pretty cool. That's a nice pull. I believe that's a box hit, uh, especially being retail. You get 24 packs per box. Uh, that's going to be a box hit, guys. You get one auto per box, so that is very, very lucky. It's a sticker auto, but that's pretty sweet. I like that card a lot. That will stay in the PC. And our prism card that's behind it, Chris Paul. There you go, guys. Chris Paul. That's nice. I think that's called, is that the Ruby? Uh, I think that's maybe called the Ruby prism. Let's see here. I don't know if they actually labeled or anything like that. I don't guess not. But I think it's called the Ruby. Nice Chris Paul. Not numbered or anything like that, but it is a cool card. And our final card, final chance, Derek Favors. Uh, so the wrong Pelican there, guys. But uh, that's okay. That was still a very nice pack nonetheless. All right, guys, let's see. I'm going to say baseball for the end. Uh, so let's get into this hockey. Probably start with the SPA, and then we'll end with the Connor Mack hunt. So let's do 17-18 SPA. You guys know what this is about. We're looking for the future watches, and basically any autograph cards would be nice. Autographs are 99% uh, of the time on card, so that would be a very nice thing. Uh, Brock Besser is probably one of the highlighted guys in 17-18 that we're looking for here as far as a future watch. But uh, here we go, Joe Pavelski. Nice Lou behind that. And here's where the auto would be. And it looks like it's just an update, unfortunately. Adam Henrique. 
So they do updates to uh, their base from uh, Series 1, Series 2. The decoy, Jimmy VC, and OEL finish us off in that pack. Here we go, guys. Another chance here, 1819. Still have yet to get the Elias or a Carter Hart. Would be nice as far as future watches in this set. Let's hopefully get at least one auto out of the SPA stuff. Uh, Zach Hyman. Vladdy Tarasenko. The auto would be here. And unfortunately, it's a red parallel unless it is... Nope. Tevu Taravainen. So, unfortunately, we're striking out on the autos in SPA. There's our decoy. There's Brock Besser one year too late, obviously. And Andre Vasilevsky. All right, guys. Last chance with SPA. We got our 1920 SPA. Looking for either of the Hughes, uh, as well as Kel McCarr, you know, Victor Olofsson, Dominic Kubelik, just to name a few of the big rookies uh, for this year. And let's hope, guys, let's hope. So, Mr. Beard himself, Brent Burns, part of the Beard Brothers. Uh, I can't tell what we got. We got an SP Essentials, I think. Alexander Barkov, and no, Authentic Winners, no Dobson. So, unfortunately, no autos today, guys, and the SPA stuff. Oscar Clefbaum and frickin' Brad Marchand finish that pack. Um, so, let's go to the 15-16, the big stuff. Champs is the least of the big stuff out of the 15-16, but looking for any Connor McDavid of any type is definitely the goal here for these last three hockey packs before we get to the baseball stuff. Uh, let's see what we get, guys, though. Cody Eakin starts us off. Then we got a Tyler Myers behind him. Justin Falk. Gilbert Perot, probably a short print. Andrew Kopp, rookie, and we finish with a Troy Brower. So, unfortunately, nothing gigantic in that. Uh, so, that aside, and here we go, guys. We're going to do the ice pack first. Hope, hope, hope for a nice Connor McDavid, because that would definitely make this break and then some. But we'll see what we get. And, unfortunately, the, you know, a lot of the spoils or spoilers will happen as we break through this, because... They are see-through acetate cards, so it's kind of tough to hide the card behind each one unless there's a decoy, which I do see so we have uh, a decoy in this. But uh, Martin Hansel starts us off here. Oh, shoot. Well, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, like I said, guys, you can't really hide it. So Martin Hansel, I didn't even see that coming. It's just a base card, that nice acetate, and we did get our autograph. It is a Glacial Graphs. I'm going to leave that uh, decoy behind it so you guys can see the auto. It's Andre Pallot, because I'll show you the difference without the decoy. It completely acetates. It's a little bit... Harder to pick up on, but that's a nice on-card glacial graphs there. I think it's my first Andre Pilat auto. No numbering or anything like that. That's not to be expected on there. Here's our decoy, and then behind it, we got a Johnny Hockey. And it looks like Pekka Rene, or Pekka Roni, as my son would say, right behind him. It's a couple base cards, so no big rookies or anything like that, but we did get an auto, so that's cool. Here we go, guys. The 15-16 SPX. This one is just mammoth. If you pull... Uh, McDavid, you're only going to get, uh, well, four cards in here, but you're going to get um, a hit. Uh, it's going to be one of these four cards for sure. That could be a jersey, that could be an auto, it could be a patch, who knows. But let's see what we got, guys. Sid the Kid's a nice start to it. Sid the Kid, we got like some type of green parallel, it looks like, right behind this. Um, I can't tell if we got a decoy or a thick card. I think it's a decoy, but I'm not positive. I'm not going to try and uh, make you guys wait or anything. Let's just get to it. Jamie Benn, that's actually just the team colors. I thought it was a green parallel, but it's Jamie Benn. Behind it, we got something. I saw it said auto, so you know what? I am going to save that for the last card here. Uh, and then the decoys, I think there's a decoy behind it. Holy smokes. Um, I'm a little confused, guys. It might not be a decoy. I have no idea. Uh, Hank Lundquist, <laughs> uh, Marty St. Louis, I think this, okay, here we go. Jamie Benn. And here we go, guys. This is the hit, and it's actually not a decoy. It's just a very thick card with an auto, and I think it goes like this, if I recall. And it might be a shadow box, or who the heck knows. What have we? Oh, rookies. Oh, buddy, please. Please give me a Connor Mac. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's a center. Oh, it's a stars. Oh, Matthias Janmark. Oh, boy, did I get excited. When I saw rookies and center, I said, holy smokes. But uh, still, it's a pretty cool pool. Uh, Matthias Janmark there for your stars. Uh, and that is a sticker auto, I believe. 
Um, yeah, that's a sticker auto, guys. That was a little tough to tell there, but it is a sticker auto. That's not jersey. That's uh, the insert place where they could put like a quad jersey to go with it as well. So it's just the auto. I don't, yeah, there's numbering right there, 265 of 299. So not an incredible pull, but still pretty cool nonetheless. All right, guys, let's get into the baseball. I'm going to save the Sterling pack for the last because we know we're going to have a hit in that for sure. I will probably save the Chrome for a second to last. Boom, and let's just do it uh, in this order, guys. You guys know who we're looking for in Series 2? If you don't, the big player in Series 2 that's the hot card, hot player, or whatever, if you will. Lou Rowe, as I like to call him, I know everybody else says Lou Ball, but I like Lou Rowe better. Luis Robert, the big rookie in Series 2 for sure. Looking for an auto in here. I don't see any thick cards, so that's actually a good thing because uh, anytime you see a thick card, it's normally just a relic. I'd much rather have thin cards because you get the chance of the auto. I'm actually going to split these up. These are a little bit tough to manage uh, with so many cards. We'll fly through this for the most part, though. Uh, Justice Sheffield, Paul DeYoung, D. Gordon, Brian Reynolds' cup card there, Kevin Kramer. And Tops does drive me absolutely insane with this. They make you constantly flip the cards around in here. Uh, Kevin Kramer, Mike Miner, Freddie Galvis, Will Smith cup card. Good player for sure, Michael Kopech. Homer Bailey, Jose Abreu, Brandon uh, Lau, not low, Luke Weaver. Uh, I'm not going to flip all these around, guys. The means, uh, role reversal there, Mr. Smiles. I see him sliding into there, a KC uh, team card. Uh, nice Ramirez. Oh, jeez, it is really tough, actually, like this. It's almost <laughs> pain in the butt, guys. And if you guys notice um, any short prints or variations or anything please let me know in the comments as well uh because those can be tough to spot sometimes i do check them after but it does help me if you guys uh you know put those in there first chris bryant Robert Duggar. here we go back to this way wilson ramos and all the insert cards are towards the end of these fat packs guys so we will get to the good stuff here hopefully at the end where we have like all the rookies kind of piled up and all the inserts and chance at autos and stuff like that uh trevor williams jr matt Felix hernandez j-man Choi, willie calhoun gotta be getting really close to these inserts now fultanowich showing a lot of sock there that almost looked like it was a variation but i don't think it is all right, guys, and we are getting into inserts. So here we go. There's a nice one. I like that. You guys know my big PC guys, uh, the Polar Bears. So there you go. Jordan Alvarez, Pete Alonzo, the Rookie of the Year Award winners uh, for each league. That's a cool card. I don't have it yet. And we got, what the heck did we get? Did we get a gold? Uh, I don't know. I, it's not gold. It's not based on, I don't know what it is. Let me see here, guys. Oh, it's just a rainbow foil, I think. Uh, we'll check it out here in a minute. A manual, uh, class. Let's check this out. I think that's just a rainbow foil, but I'm not positive. Yeah, you know what? It's just rainbow foil, guys. Uh, because there'd be numbering if it wasn't. Uh, it was kind of throwing me off with that little bit of gold down there, but that's just a rainbow foil. Decades best, Steve Carlton, Max Scherzer, and then we finish with a 2030 Nolan Arenado. So, unfortunately... No big hits in there unless I missed a photo variation. No big rookies or anything like that. Um, but that's okay, guys. A few more chances. Here's the best for last, in my opinion. 2020 Bowman. We have a real chance of an auto in here. You guys know what Bowman's about. That's one of my favorite baseball products for sure. You want the big rookies in the Chrome version, preferably. Um, and in this year's um, kind of fat packs and stuff, if you get an auto, it's up here towards the front. I do not see a different card stock, but I could be wrong, and that doesn't mean anything. Um, but here we go, guys. Let's see. Got a Michael Baez, Travis Demert, John Means, Dan Vogelbach, Bryce Harper, Hunter Dozier. We should be. We got a uh, sky blue paper parallel. There you go, Zach Collins, and that'll be out of four ninety nine, as you guys can see. And then Chrome starts behind it, and the autos would be right here. Got a rookie of the year favorites, Nico Horner. Matt Manning, Bowman, Bowman Throwback, Top 100, Hunter Green, coming in at number 51. Back to paper, so unfortunately we are striking out as far as autos go, but we can still get a big rookie for sure. Looking for those uh, first Bowmans, like Jason Dominguez, Bobby Wood Jr., you know, Robert Pawson, Miguel Vargas. These are paper again, guys, that we're in right now. 
Brian Hayes, Luke and Gilbert. Be some crumbs coming up now again. Hopefully a hit in here. Shane Baz, Cannon Smith. And we do have a speckle coming up. Hopefully it's a big name. Oscar Gonzalez, Jesus Sanchez. And our speckle is Jeremy Pena. Jeremy Pena. Nice little first bum there. And that's out of $2.99. You guys can see that. It's a little shiny to show, but that's a speckle refractor there out of $2.99. Then we go back to paper. Yu Chang, Tim Anderson, Whit Merrifield, Christian Yelich, Ramon Laureano, Mike Yastrzemski, and we finish with Willie Domus. So there you go, guys. Uh, no auto, but still a couple of decent cards, I'd say, in that pack. Let's do our Chrome Fat Pack here. I have basically a one in two chance of pulling an auto out of this. We're looking for the Lou Rowe or any of the big rookies. No different card stock, guys. So we were really striking out as far as autos go, and I don't even think we're going to have a parallel on this one. But let's hope for a big rookie at least. Uh, Christian Walker. Uh, Matt Theus. Gene Segura. I'm going to spin that around. But uh, Logan Webb. Tatis Jr. Cup card. And then behind we got the insert. Freshman Flash. Sean Murphy. Not numbered or anything like that. No more Mazzara. Looks like a rainbow. A couple rainbows here. No one Arenado. It's a prism one. Michael Fulmer. Charlie Blackman. Jose the Cheater Altuve. Trevor Story. And we finish with an Ian Desmond. So unfortunately, guys, I'm striking out. I was hoping to at least get one or two big pulls. Let's hope we save the best for last, guys. This is our last chance. We are going to get an auto guaranteed in here. Uh, hopefully it's a big one. 2020 Bowman Sterling. This is my one and only opening... Um, of 2020 Bowman Sterling. I probably will not get more of this as well. It's very expensive. And the, the checklist is kind of big as far as you know the autos and stuff like that go. So the odds of pulling somebody really, really big, if you're only opening uh, you know a couple or a few of these, is kind of low. Um, but it was worth taking a chance for at least one box of this and see what we get. Uh, and let's see what we get, guys. We're going to get a foil pack in here. Auto should be in the center. Uh, five base cards and one auto. As you guys see, super shiny silver pack here. I have seen some really good pools, guys, but like I said, the odds are not with us uh, as far as, you know, only open one pack of this. Um, but we will see. We will hope. And let's see what we get, guys. So we start with a nice Mackenzie Gore. His cards are beautiful, as you guys see. Uh, Brendan McKay, that's a good rookie there. I'd like to pull his auto out of here. That'd be a good one. Hunter Harvey, rookie behind that. We did get a uh, one of those, I think these are called Speckle as well, or maybe Shimmer. I don't think this is the auto, but it's going to be... A, oh, it is the auto, guys. I take that back. It's a Nick Solak. There you guys go. I swear these are numbered, uh, but I could be wrong. Uh, let's see. Pull it from the side. No, nah, I guess no numbering, but it is a, um, I guess, Speckle or Shimmer. I can't remember what that's called. That's an on-card auto, uh, which is always nice and stuff. That's a Nick Solak rookie. Pretty cool. Final two cards, we got an Alex Young rookie, and our last card is an Anthony K rookie card. So there you guys go. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the multi-sport. I mean, I don't think we pulled anything mammoth. We got some decent cards, but nothing absolutely monster like I was hoping for. But it is what it is, guys. You know, you can't win them all. Uh, it was worth a shot. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, first multi-sport, kind of four-sport, uh, create-your-own-boombox here break. I'll probably do another one of these guys in the future for sure. I had fun doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said, as well. Please leave a like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys for sure. Uh, as always, guys, email will be in the description below as well as a mailing address if you guys ever need. And I will put the price uh, exactly for what I paid in U.S. dollars in the description below, as well as a link to Imagineer.com, the place that I picked up all these packs at. Um, but yeah, guys, other than that, have a great day, a great night, wherever you guys are at. And we will see you guys next time.